Guys, I don't know why in most cases right here in Uganda, we always receive a breaking news on a Sunday. I don't know if you have noticed that. In most cases, we receive a breaking news on Sunday, but uh, that is something that we should leave to God. Anyway, I am coming to tell you about uh, the cause of the death of uh, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. And also people have been saying that, uh, you know, there is bad blood between Kadaga, the former Speaker of Parliament, and uh, Jacob Olanya. But actually, Kadaga has finally come commented on the death of the Speaker of Parliament and uh, this is something that I'm coming to judge you about. You know, this is a big story and I promised that I'll keep you posted about it. So what you have to do is to subscribe to the G. You can also invite your other people to come and be part of us right here so that we can be a very big family. Now, you know, people, just like I said, have been saying that um, there is bad blood between uh, the former Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Alito Alakadaga, and uh, Jacob Olanya, the late right now. But uh, Kadaga has sent a condolence message to the children of uh, Jacob Olanya, uh, his family, uh, the friends of Jacob Olanya, and uh, to the President of the Republic of Uganda, President Yorika Guta Museveni. Uh, Kadaga says this is a trying moment for all of us as a country, and uh, she says that uh, may his soul rest in peace. Yes, that is a right honorable Alito Alakadaga, the former Speaker of Parliament. Now, in other news, uh, President Museveni has also confirmed the death of uh, the Speaker of Parliament uh, through his social media platforms. Uh, President Museveni has said, country men and women, it's with a lot of sadness that I announced the death of uh, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya, the Speaker of Parliament. Yes, so that is uh, President Museveni's statement, very simple and precise right there. And, uh, you know, this statement really shows you that he's very, very sad about this news. Of course, as a president, you expect him to write at least a longer statement but for him he did it simple and precise and uh, that really shows you that he's not doing well right now he has no time to write many many words about Jacob Olanya for now but um, that is what is coming from our president Museveni's camp he has also confirmed it that we have lost uh, you know the speaker of the 11th parliament right honorable Jacob Olanya now, many people right now are questioning about, you know, the cause of uh, the death of Jacob Olanya. Yes, people are questioning that, hey, what has caused the death of Right Honorable Jacob Olanya? I want to tell you that um, up to now, we haven't received an official communication about what might have caused his death. But uh, some people, you know, some people right here in the country, like uh, Isma Olaxis. Isma Olaxis is the president of bloggers right here in Uganda. This guy has boldly said that uh, Jacob Kobulanya was poisoned by mafias right here in Uganda. I cannot confirm which mafias and I cannot confirm his statement, but uh, you know, Isma Olaxis being a president of the bloggers, definitely he might be having sources that must have told him that uh, Jacob Olanya was poisoned by mafias. And uh, this guy said it this very, very week actually that we are just putting behind right here, just like uh, two days back. But of course, uh, this is something that I cannot confirm right here on the Buzz UG. For me, I'll always confirm something that has been said by the government right here. So, uh, you know, this is a developing story. You know, we have just received the breaking news in the country and definitely you expect a lot to emerge about uh, the death of the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. And uh, right here on the Buzz UG, I'll keep you posted. Uh, what you have to do is uh, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also make sure that you tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.